Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, all right, we're gonna get into a good one today. The return of my Texan, my boy Virgil Ortiz. He's on the wall. There he is. Um uh, he is back. He's fighting Frederick Lawson in his comeback fight. His first fight at 154 pounds. Um, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all from social media. Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. We don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the box, the odds makers, bookies, they don't know how to handicap boxing. I do. <clears throat> I'm going to consistently show you how to make money. We've been absolutely killing it. Follow me, and you don't have to get that side gig, that second side hustle. Um, you can just um, you can just do this. You can just bet on boxing and make money every single week because the Boxing Bookie does that for you. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um. All right, Virgil Ortiz and Frederick Lawson. Uh, Virgil Ortiz has been out, out of the ring. Yo, know, about, about uh, it was about 20, 18 months, September, October, November, December, about 16 months. Um, he, he last fought Michael McKinson in August 22nd, uh, August of 2022. Uh, and then he fought a year before that against the Mean Machine. So it's, it's really been a lot of inactivity uh, with him. You know, he beat Hooker. And Kyle Laskis in, in 21, it was a good year for him. Uh, he looked like to me he was on the verge. And then, you know, he had some medical conditions that pushed the McKinson fight back to August 6th of 2022. And then he was supposed to fight earlier in 2023. And that fell through three times. So he didn't fight at all in 2023. That sets up this fight in 2024 with Frederick Lawson after over a year of inactivity. But he's finally back. Um, you know, what do we know about Frederick Lawson? Well, he's not that good. Uh, he got a career best win back in April in Texas, ironically, in Arlington, just a few miles from where Virgil grew up. Um, and that was uh, on the Williams and Pettit card. Um, he outlasted a guy named Esteban Villabos uh, on the televised portion. Uh, that was on the zone. Um, and, you know, and he, and he looks okay. Uh, he, he, he looks okay is really all you can say. He's a, a fringe contender type of guy. He, he lost to Charles Hatley back in 2021. Um, he got stopped by him in the 10th round. He lost to Juan Ruiz. You can find that fight on YouTube. Um, we're going to get into him. Um, yo. Know, he's 5'9". We'll, we'll get into him now. Uh, I, I watched what I could find, the tape I could find on him. He's 5'9". He's on the shorter side. Um, you know, he's got decent skills. There's just not much power. There's not much pop. There's not much to him. Um, you know, he likes to fight up the back foot, but he can be engaged into a slugfest. You know, he's not hyper-athletic or anything like that. It's not like he's going to be able to run and avoid Verge. Uh, I, I see this as being, you know, one-sided train wreck, honestly. You know, he, he will go on the high guard shot. It looks like he can take a decent stop, uh, pop shot, but he's been stopped a lot. He does get hit. He's not defensively really good, although he's not, you know, sloppy or lazy or anything like that. Defensively, he's just not that good. He's not that athletic. He's, he's pretty basic. He's got a nice jab. He fires. He can fire it off the back foot. He can throw up the back foot pretty well. Um, You know, he's mostly a jabber. You know, uh, when you get him on the inside, he's got decent skills on the inside. He can land on the inside, but he can also be hit. He doesn't have a ton of power, and Virgil does. Uh, so if the guy's willing to fight Virg, he's not ultra, uber elusive, uh, and he's willing to engage in, in, in a firefight. Well, how's this going to go? Um, you know, like I said, he's, he's willing to stand in. Um, he, he wants to create space. Like, that's his game plan. He wants to be off the back foot, but he's not that athletic. Um, he doesn't really have the speed to do it. He doesn't have tremendous footwork to do it. So it's just it's not going to work for him. And Virgil's a master at cutting off the ring. Uh, it's just everything here points to me pretty early stoppage. You know, we know about Virgil. Everything he throws is hard. Excellent footwork. Excellent at cutting off the ring. He's offensively complete. 
He's a stone cold killer, throws fastballs with everything, right? It's like a power pitcher in baseball. Just everything is hard. Um, you know, he's a good body puncher. He healed duck punches pretty well. Um, he didn't look super sharp in his last fight with McKinson, and that was due to a long layoff. And that isn't even a longer layoff. So, okay, let's have some concern about that, perhaps. Um, but I, I don't think Lawson is really much of anything. Um, you know, Virgis has got good feet for what he does. He's good at cutting off the ring. Um, you know, he's a comfort guy. He'll come and get you. And he knows how to, how to set traps. Um, he knows how to get you to fight his fight. And Lawson is willing to fight his fight. So I, I, I think this is going to be relatively easy work. You know, Verge is also in the high guard. He's come forward. He likes to impose himself, uh, you know. And, and the thing I like a lot about Verge, he doesn't get super aggressive, right? Like he's not swinging wildly. He's very composed. He's very patient with his seek and destroy kind of mission. Right, like he's not wildly missing, loading up on on crazy shots. It's it's composed. It's in the pocket. Right. It's it's very calm, um, and he's really complete. The left hook, right hand. He'll mix up a hook to the body, hook to the head. Um, he's very offensively complete and defensively. You know, he's going to get hit because he's coming to get you. Um, but he, you know, he like I said, he ducks well. He can pivot out well. He does a lot of things. His feet are good. You know, um, and ultimately, he's a come forward killer, and he does everything else well enough where he's going to get you. Um, you know, well, I always thought the fight with Boots Enos would have been so interesting. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get that, at least not at 47, obviously. Maybe one day we can get at 54. Who knows? Um, but, um, you know, a, a lot of times I, I, I think that the fighter they want Benavides to be is what Ortiz actually is. He's so much more skilled, you know, um, and, and, and he's so much less flawed than Benavides, and he can just break you down and kill you. Um, now he's not, you know, it's not a one-for-one analogy. He's not, you know, that similar to a fighter in, in Benavides, but, um, you know, I, I think, if, you know, if you're looking, you know, for, for a seek and destroy guy who, who, who has skills, who can set you up, who can work behind it, who can do things, it's Virgil Ortiz. So I don't see this fight going long. Uh, the odds are interesting. We're going to get into that now. I'm going to get the odds pulled up for you right now because they are interesting. All right. So Virgil Ortiz, and, and you know, this is wild. He's minus 2,500. We're going to make a two-times bet on this. A two-times bet on this is going to make it $8. <laughs> you know, Virgil Ortiz has knocked out every single person he's faced. Um, we're we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this. Virgil Ortiz has knocked out every single person he's faced. 19 out 19 knockouts. Um, this is certainly not the best opponent he's faced. Um, it, it's not anything. It's not the most athletic. It's not the most gifted. It's not the best defensive fighter. It's just a guy. Uh, who's earned this fight with the win over Villavos on a re reasonably big card. Um, so we're going to do this instead. Two times bet on Virgil Ortiz by KO, TKO, or DQ. It's going to make you 30 bucks. Uh, it, it's minus 650. He wins by stoppage. He's, he's fitting to win by stoppage. We know that. So a two times bet on that makes you 30. Now the interesting one on this, and you can put the two times bet on, on him winning or make another eight bucks on a $200 wager. I just think that's stupid. Like, what's the point? It's, it's not even hedging your bet. It's making you $8 on a $200 bet. It's not really worth it. You can do it if you want. Uh, then, you know, the only interesting one is what round does it come in? You know, the one thing I was thinking, if you want to, if you do want to hedge, make a little bet on this. I would do like a quarter bet. Quarter bet on seven and eight. So this basically gives you one through eight for him to stop him. I, I think this is a much better bet than just throwing away the money, right? Like uh, it, 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 it's a hedge on your bet um, in case he does win by knockout in one of these rounds. You can certainly do that. Put a little hedge on him to win by knockout in, in the seventh or the eighth. And the only so you, you've given yourself eight rounds to work with. 
to make money on. The only thing that happens is if he knocks him out in the second half of the sixth round, you, you lose. Um, but, you know, a little quarter bet. A little quarter bet here makes you, you know, uh, $112 in, 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 in the seventh. And it'll make you um, – Twenty-five uh, dollars. I bet would make you, you know, one fifty. It happened in the eighth. I, I think it's it, it's worth doing. Um, the thing to tell you this thing's about to happen in the fifth or sixth round, which I, I think is about right. Uh, that's why I took the under. So as long as this doesn't happen in the second half of the sixth, you're all covered if you want to do this. But my official bet is just Virgil Ortiz by KO, uh, two times bet, and Virgil Ortiz under. Five and a half rounds. Um, again, I, I don't see any way he, dis- he uh, lost and avoids destruction from Ortiz. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every for every uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. So you had to make money consistently on the sport of boxing. Again, we always use DraftKings. I can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Uh, I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm showing you how to consistently make money and bring down the house. Let's bring down the house together. There's always a bull market somewhere. It is January 1st. Happy New Year's, y'all. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.